As we told you last week, Joe's Rusty Nail won the inaugural Talk Pittsburgh Brunch Bracket. With your help, the Bellevue Eatery beat out some stiff competition and emerged victorious in our tasty version of March Madness. And we are so happy to have our champs here today. Joining us from the Rusty Nail is owner Joe Albicki as well as Billy Dias. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for having us. Yeah. It smells incredible it does. in here. Billy, what are we making today? Uh, Western omelet mm, uh, with uh, cheddar. Okay, Ooh. what goes in the Western omelet? Uh, we have fresh bell peppers, uh, onions, and ham. And ham. Oh. All right. Well, it well, looks so fresh. It does. All right, while oh you're, you're working on that a little bit, Joe, <clears throat> tell us about the restaurant and, and how you guys got started. Well, we started 45 years ago. Um, I spent uh, I spent 10 years with Eaton Park restaurants, okay. and oh, then yeah. after 10 years, I uh, decided to go out on my own and um, started up in Bellevue in 1979. We're coming up on our 45th anniversary August, in August. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been quite a career. Absolutely, and I mean, tell us what you think your secret to longevity is, because 45 years is a long time for a local mom and pop restaurant. It, it really is. I'll tell you what it is I've, I've been very lucky I, it, and it it goes back to the the crew that i have mm -hmm. i have i have a crew that has been with me for years and years wow um i have waitresses that have been with me for 40 years oh yeah you know? that's awesome so it's 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 i've been very blessed with with the um with my my crew and they've they've really made it happen for me. That's right. you, Billy. That's yeah, we're talking about Billy. 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 Yeah. Uh, He's the magic. You uh, you brought some dishes with you here. Are these some of your more uh, popular menu items? Well, what we did we brought uh, we brought a little sampling of our breakfast, lunch, and dinner items, mm -hmm. um, like uh, what we're doing right now, the uh, the Western omelet. Um, and then for lunch, we we brought a sampling of our Reuben sandwich, and then. For dinner, we brought a, uh, a, a dish called the Italian Stuffed Chicken Breast. Um, actually, oh, this, oh. Was, this was developed <laughs> by Billy. I have to give Billy oh credit my for God. this one. I know, huh? So um, what, um, what this one is is um, two layers of chicken stuffed with regatta cheese, uh, fresh basil, uh, tomato sauce, mm -hmm. and then topped off with provolone cheese. Oh, how did you come up with the idea for that? Uh, sleeping. <laughs> He's just Believe smart. You know, he wanted to take a nap, yeah. so he yeah, said, they, I'm doing this. I'm just putting them on top of each other. This it. just looks like great home-style cooking, mm -hmm. which I think is so hard to find these days, truly. Mm -hmm. So if someone's ever been to the Joe's Rusty Nail, do you have something, do you have a favorite on your menu? And I know it's like picking your favorite kid. No, you know, I get that question asked a lot, and I really don't have one particular favorite. We do everything from meatloaf to um, chicken parm. Mm -hmm. Comfort. Know, comfort, yes. comfort foods. Um, quick story, we, we kind of have an open kitchen where people walking by can see mm -hmm. into yeah. the kitchen. And I'm usually right there by the pass-through window mm -hmm. where people can see me. So I'm standing there Friday night working with Billy, standing there, and this fellow walks out, and uh, he looks back to me and he says, this isn't restaurant food. And I said, it's not restaurant food? What? I said, what do you mean? He said, this is the kind of food that I got when I was a kid in my grandma's house. Aww. I said, well, that's Nailed. what that we're shooting good for. Food. Nailed it. That's yeah. what we're shooting that's for. That's the best kind of food. Yeah. Well, I have to ask you, how does it feel to win the, uh, the bracket? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know. Because uh, there was some I'm, stiff competition. Very stiff yeah. competition. Oh, and, you know, <laughs> out of. Out Billy's of done. The, uh, <laughs> that's it. Um. um Help Billy out, out, of there, the six, yeah. out of the 16 restaurants that we were up against, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I think I think one of the reasons I was so uh, fortunate to win was because of my longevity. What yeah. Kelly said, you know, I've been been around forever. I d we've we've developed a great customer base, mm -hmm. and uh, once we found out that this bracket was going on, I have two young ladies that take care of my social media, um, Bonnie. Um, um, Shout out to Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah, and Lauren. <laughs> uh huh. Um, Lauren too. And Lauren too, and they take care of all my social media and my Facebook. And once they found out about this bracket, they jumped on that and just started to. They ran with it. Yeah. And they got our our word out to 
all of our customers. Oh. So I think that's what really took us over the top. You oh. were an easy winner, Billy. This is the best Absolutely. omelet I've ever had. Good? I promise I'll share. Oh, my I'm game. diving in right here. It was too. a pleasure to meet you both. And congratulations. And what a wonderful neighborhood you're in, too. Bellevue. Yes, we yes. love you, Bellevue. Yes. All right, be sure to check out the brunch bracket winning Joe's Rusty Nail along Lincoln Avenue in Bellevue. They are here all week. For more information on the restaurant and their daily specials, head to our website, kdk.com slash talkpittsburgh. We will be right back after the break.